Hi everyone, this is Gurpreet from Data with Canvas and today we are going to learn about how to optimize Tableau dashboard performance. Whenever we work with smaller data sets, we don't have to worry about performance. But with big data set, performance plays a crucial role in dashboard development. So in this first part of Tableau performance optimization series, I'll be sharing the tips on how to optimize Tableau data extraction process. Over this session, I'll be talking about the difference between live and extract connections, the difference between extract filters and data source filters, on how we can aggregate data during extraction process. I will also be covering incremental refresh during the data extraction process and how we can hide the unused fields during extraction process, which will help in the performance of the dashboard. So without any further delays, let's get started. As you can see in this dashboard, I am showing the sales over the period of time in the bar chart. And before creating any dashboard, we have to work on the database or data source. So in this case, I will go to the data source. As you can see here, we have two types of connections. One is the live connection and one is the extract connections. So in terms of performance, we should always be using extracts. And why is that? So Tableau data extracts are just a snapshot of the data which is optimized for aggregation and is loaded into systems memory, which can be used during data visualization process. So in this case, when we created an extract, the extract is saved into Tableau data source engine, database engine. And the dashboard is using Tableau data engine, which is quite faster as compared to the live connection where we are connecting directly to the database. The database can either be an Excel spreadsheet or SQL Server, Snowflake, SAP, Anaplan, any other system. So whenever you try to create an extract, it will just create a snapshot and save that point of time, the data at that point of time in the database engine, which is Tableau's data engine. And the file is saved as a hyper file, which is quite faster in terms of processing when we compare it with live connections. So live connection on the other hand is quite convenient in terms of real time updates where any changes in the data source are reflected in Tableau straight away. But the live connection are normally slower because they rely on the database for all queries. So with the extracts, they are always faster. So whenever you have an option and you can create an extract, where you can schedule a refresh either in the morning or afternoon based on the frequency on which data changes, I would highly recommend you to use extracts. And on the other hand, we have to limit the number of records to be ingested into the dashboard so that the less calculation or less time it should take for rendering. So how we can do that? So there are two different processes uh, in terms of filtration of the data. So at data extraction level, you can do a data extract filter, which by clicking on this edit button, you can extract the data and apply filters here, and it will only let you bring the data based on your filter criteria. I will go into the detail in a second, but I would just like to show you Another filter option where you can see here right now there are zero filter applied here. And if I click on the add button, it will add the data source filter. So what exactly is the difference between extract filter and data source filter? So extract filter will not let the data come into the extract at first place when we apply that filter. Whereas with the data source filter, it will come in the extract, but it might not it will not be used in the dashboard itself so we have that option that in one worksheet we are applying that data source filter but in the other worksheet we are not applying that data source filter we can switch that thing so if we want it in one dashboard we can bring that one in in the other 
worksheet or the dashboard, we can exclude that one in. But in the extraction process, we are getting all the data which we need. So in this case, if you want to increase the performance of the extract, it's always recommended to limit the numbers at the extract filter level. So if let's say you have 10 million rows of data, but you are only required to get the data for let's say particular scenario where you only need 5 million rows. So you can create a filter here and you can create it on the category or country or whatever. So in this case, let me choose category for example. And I only want to see technology, which will reduce my number drastically, let's say from 10 million to 5 million, for example. So in this case, I'll only be bringing technology data into my extract. And then at the bottom, if you see, it says aggregate the data for visible dimension. So by default, it's always unchecked. So if I check that when I say, I want to see the data by month or year or quarter, I can do that. So normally, if we don't want to see the data at daily level, we can just select by month. So it will automatically aggregate the measure values by month instead of days. So we are reducing the granularity size here. So if you don't need the data at daily level, you can do it at monthly level. So that way you can aggregate at data source, data extraction level. And then after that, you can also do incremental refresh. So in this case, I haven't set a refresh scenario, but if you are getting the data daily, so and your historic data is not changing, then it's highly recommended to set the incremental refresh um, based on the different scenarios. So migrated data by rows, you can do it. You can do it by sample number of rows, or you can do it all rows and click on incremental refresh. And every time your data set changes and the new rows comes in, so it will only append those new rows in the data sets rather than loading the entire data set all over again. So this is really important and helpful in terms of tableau extraction performance. And then at the end, there is an option to hide all the unused fields. So by clicking on that one, so if you are only using 10 fields, then by clicking on that one, it will only keep those 10 fields available and it will hide all the other unused fields. And during extraction process, it will not extract the unused fields. It will only extract the fields which are used in the dashboard or the workbook. So that way, if you have like, let's say 50 columns and you are only using 10 columns, so Tableau will extract only 10 columns every time. So the performance will automatically increase. So always once your workbook is complete, your dashboard is complete, you can hide all the unused fields at the end. So if you already know, you can hide it here itself. Or if you don't know, then once you go into the sheet, for example, let's go to the sales sheet here and you click on this drop down and you can hide it here. So in this case, let me say I want to see all of them. So these ones, it's giving a red indication because the data is not extracted and this is invalid because at the extraction level we have hidden all the fields. So we have to go back and unhide and re-extract it. But if you have created the dashboard and you want to hide the fields later, you can easily go here and click on hide all the unused fields. So in this case, I will uncheck the show fields and all the fields are hidden now. And if you want to bring it back, you can go at the data extract level and you can bring it back. As simple as that. So another thing which I wanted to let you know was once the extract is created, you just right click on that. And if you are using multiple calculations in the extract in the workbook worksheet, you just go to extract and say compute calculations now. So what it will do is during the data extraction process, it will extract all the calculation as well. So it will put less burden on the Tableau engine while the dashboard is running or while we are, while the user is exploring the dashboard. So at that time, it won't do the calculation on the flow. 
So this way it will already do all the calculation and will save it in the extract. So it will help in the performance as well. So this is the part one of the Tableau optimization series and I hope you guys liked it. So stay tuned for more performance sessions and we'll see you next time. Thank you.